Hello Taurus, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your June 2021 mini reading on love and money. And we're going to see how this is going to go here for the love um, part. We're going to use the Light Seers Tarot by Chris Ann. Beautiful, beautiful artwork in this deck. Just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. So we're going to pull three cards. This is going to be short and sweet <clears throat> and see if there's something here that will help you. So let's take a look here and let me know what you think. I don't, you know, maybe they're too short. I'm not sure, but I try to get right to the point here. Let's see. Oops. Five of Wands. Eight of Wands. And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look and see what we can find here. Okay, with the Five of Wands, a lot of times it looks like there's a lot of energy, a lot of commotion, things going on around. Maybe even uh, lack of focus. And what that would have to do with love, that would, <laughs> that would be up to you. If you're not sure what you want, don't make a commitment. You know, if things are um, really um, working well for you, you know, that's great. But it says with the Eight of Wands, it looks like there's going to be some kind of emotions um, uh, moving around here. You know, maybe you're thinking, oh, am I doing the right thing? Am I settling? Whatever. If you are having those thoughts, really, really step back and say, you know, like, to yourself, you know, make sure that you're not jumping into something that you don't want. And this is kind of for people who aren't really, you know, like living together or married, something like that. But those of you that <clears throat> are wanting to get there, I feel like there's going to be some... Uh, a lot of engagements this year. I don't know why that, you know, were promises to marry. And then with the Wheel of Fortune for this love area here, it just says, again, don't be care, don't care, but not, don't listen to what everyone else says. Listen to what your heart says. Listen inside. You know, if you have people saying, oh, you shouldn't be going with that person or you should be seeing this person or look what they're doing. You know, really when it comes to love, we can't argue with our heart. You know, we can't explain how that works. But I feel for those of you that are single, this is going to be a much better year for you to get out and meet people or mingle with people, something like that. And those of you that have been home and with your partner, you know, night after night, week after week, month after month, I think you're going to get a reason to get out and celebrate and make that person feel extra special. You don't have to, you know, dress to the nines and go to the most expensive restaurant and dance all night. You can go to a place where you met, maybe, or you can go to a place that you both like to, or you can do it the other way, however you want. But I just think there's going to be some, um, activities where there's going to be people. And I think that's needed by everybody. But remember, when it comes to love, listen to hear. You know, try to listen to your heart as best you can. And I feel that you can't choose wrong. So let's do money here. We're going to do money with the Crow's Magic by Londa Marks. And, let's, and this here is really one of my favorite decks. I just love these Crow cards. They're beautifully done. And the energy on them is fantastic. So let's cut these. And see where we're at. <clears throat> okay, I have the nine of coins. I have the four of cups. And I have the two of swords. So let's take a look here. Wow, it almost seems like there's harmony here or chemistry or something. It just seems like if you're in a relationship, and I know we just got done with the love part of relationships. It looks like you're on the same page. Or it looks like, too, that you're focused on what you're doing when it comes to money. I feel like there is not going to be such a money problem for you this year as there was last year. Seems like there's going to be opportunities here. Um, maybe you find a new job. Maybe you got a raise. Maybe you just found, you got a bonus. It just seems like there's going to be change. Those who hadn't... <laughs> I don't want you to hoard your money. It's not saying, I'm not saying that you should hoard your money, but it just says you're going to make a change where you put a little bit away, which adds up very quickly, by the way. Then we have the two of swords, which means, I don't know, I just feel like you're going to have such pride with this. There's just, it, this is so different than last year for you, for many of you. And it's not, again, it's not that you're hoarding money. It's not that you're flaunting money. It just seems to be, um, I don't know if you have a plan or you have a routine, but something that changes allows you to have more money. 
It says that if you want to go on a trip, there's going to be money for a trip. If you're really wanting to move and relocate, I, if, how it works, I don't know. I just feel like the year or this month for money, you're going to see a lot of opportunities, um, especially with the um, work area. Again, I don't know if there's promotions to be done, and so many people have been working in different ways. Uh, maybe you're not going to be commuting to work every day. I'm not sure, but whatever's going on here, I do feel like you're going to see by mid month that you actually do have more money than you thought you did coming in. So there's going to be like a pressure release of some kind for those of you that haven't had enough money. You're going to see where your money, when you see where your money is going, that's going to be a big key for you and it's going to really help you in the long run. With that, this has been short and sweet, but I hope it helps. Let me know. Drop me a line on the comments. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss and I'll see you again next month.